Service Electric 2 Sports. After a disappointing finish in last year's district playoffs, the Liberty Hurricanes boys volleyball team has started the season strong. Last night, they were looking to continue their early season success against rival Freedom. Trey Whitman has their story. The one and one Freedom Patriots playing host to undefeated crosstown rival Liberty as both teams look for an early season league win. The Hurricanes really started with a bang as Brett Bossack skies up on his way for this kill, giving Liberty an early edge. Freedom was able to hang around early using good fundamentals with this nice assist and kill. After the early back and forth, Liberty completely took control of set number one winning 25 to 14. Set two was much of the same as Liberty proved to be far superior. The Hurricanes used plenty of kills like this one to pull out a 12 point advantage. The Patriots did show some promise as they were able to string a few nice points together at the end of the second set. Yet the Hurricanes using both their talent and experience to once again overpower this young freedom team. Here they are using the nice spike off the pretty assist to get the point. As Liberty tinkered with lineup changes and Freedom figured some things out, the third set was much more of a back and forth affair. But when it came down to it, Liberty shut Freedom down with this game winning ace, taking the third set 26 to 24 and improving the 3 and 0 on the young season. Liberty Freedom, it's always a, a intense environment and it's a nice rivalry for us. Um, you know, we're fortunate that uh, you know, Freedom's kind of in a, a little bit of a down year, a rebuilding year and uh, you know, they got some young players who fought pretty hard and uh, obviously, you know, they tested us to the very end. So, uh, you know, credit to their guys for doing that and credit to our guys for hanging on there at the end. It was a good win coming out here against Freedom. First two games, you know, we started fast and uh, third game, you know, we made some subs, put some new guys in, but um, um, we fought and uh, got the win. We have a, a veteran team that's been working a, a lot in the offseason. They've put in a ton of time. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're feeling pretty confident going into this season. Actually, it's been a bit of a bumpy start for us, even though, you know, we haven't lost yet. Uh, we, this was the first night that we even tried playing with our, our full starting lineup, and we didn't do that until the second set. And then, obviously, you know, in the third set, we played a lot of our backups and, uh, you know, tried some different things with the lineup. So we're still fine-tuning things, and uh, I feel like, you know, midseason, um, you know, we're going to be at our peak and hopefully then, uh, you know, continue to roll into the postseason. It's good beating your crosstown rival, and, you know, it doesn't matter if it's three or five sets, you know, a win is a win. Um, starting the season off in a roll, you know, um, we got some tougher teams coming up, so uh, good momentum going into those games. Well, it's great for District 11, first of all, and for our league that Parkland won a state championship last year and that they're number one in the state rankings. You know, credit to them. They're a well-coached team. They got some great kids and some great players who are dedicated to the sport. Uh, I feel like we have something similar here at Liberty. Uh, we've got a great team, you know, that has been dedicated to the sport for a long time. And... Uh, you know, I think uh, this season is going to present an interesting matchup because, uh, you know, we, we definitely, you know, are looking forward to that matchup. As intimidating as they can be, you know, we're ready for the challenge and we embrace it. Even after defeating their crosstown rival, the Hurricanes are only looking forward as they will face Whitehall this Thursday before hosting the Parkland Trojans April 12th. This is Trey Whitman on the scene at Freedom High School for two sports.